Hi, welcome back to the Abbott After School Sessions. This week I'm coming to you from my home studio. I'd like to thank you for your responses. We had a lot of great questions, so let's get to them. The first question comes from Amber Lane, and she asks, when did you realize you wanted to make your job working in the sound industry? I'm an aspiring music producer and wanted to know what drove you and helped you along the way. Well, what drove me was my love for music and the technology and for sound in general. When I was in high school, I was playing with a lot of bands. I graduated from college with an engineering degree. And then I purchased this TAC 4 track, which I still keep with me, and realized that recording the bands I was playing with was a perfect marriage of the passions that I had between sound and music and the technology. The next question comes from Salvador Ocardo, and he asks, in terms of just getting your foot in the door into the recording and mixing industry, what is one of the most important things to consider when trying to become a professional? Well, the training. Getting into a good school is really, really important. They have the latest equipment. They have the latest software. They have great teachers, and I know when the studios are hiring, they always look at the education that the potential candidate has. It helps you get your foot into the studio and also, also join organizations like the Cinema Audio Society or the Motion Picture Sound Editors. You can join as a student, and they're a great way to meet other professionals, to network, to really keep abreast of what's happening in the industry. The third question comes from Marcus Axison, and he asks, in terms of mixing basics, what would you recommend to an engineer or a music editor to work on to enhance their skills and eventually master the basic fundamentals of mixing and editing? Well, what I recommend is that you get to know Pro Tools inside and out. It's the industry standard, it's the tool that we all use, and it's um, very, very important that you get fast and efficient on it, you learn the quick keys, and in our industry, what is happening a lot is that we're getting changes coming down at the last minute, whether they're picture changes or they're there are music changes that you get in, and uh, it's happening both in the film and the television shows that I work on. So the more proficient you are with the Pro Tools, the better you are in the studio because it makes the clients relax, puts them at ease, it gives you confidence to go in there and do your job. And I think that uh, that is probably the best piece of advice that I can give you. So I want to thank you again for your responses. I look forward to seeing you next week and answering more of your questions.